Good morning. Welcome to Toddler Time this Tuesday morning. I'm Miss Kay at the Hewitt Public Library. This week, when you visit our webpage and you look at our flyer, our theme is about the garden. And so this week's toddler book is Growing Vegetable Soup. I hope you enjoy this book. Growing Vegetable Soup. Written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We're ready to work and our tools are ready too. So they have a rake a shovel, and a hoe. We are planting the seeds. So here they have the seed packet. This is soil. They're, these are the holes for the seeds. So they have a green bean seed, a pea seed, corn seed, a zucchini squash seed, and carrot seeds. Ooh, they're teeny tiny. You might not be able to see those. Oh, and look, they're wearing their gloves, right? Their gardening gloves. They're also planting all the sprouts. So this is called a trowel, a little bitty shovel. So there's a broccoli tomato, potato eyes, see the potato eyes go um, in the ground there, and then they have set onions, the peppers, they put the little plants in like the tomato, and the cabbage. And then the brown here is peat moss. They're also giving them water. So there's a watering can and the water spraying out. They are working hard. They're waiting for warm sun to make them grow. There's the sun and look at all the plants growing. Oh look, they put there's a weed in there too, right? So we can see the, the um, carrot top sprouting out and to the tops where the potatoes are. And the zucchini squash, the top of the onions, the top of the pepper, cabbage, tomato. Sorry, that one you can't see very well. That's the pea plant. And then we already said carrot and corn, green bean, and broccoli. So they keep waiting and they keep growing, right? They grow. Oh, they're getting bigger, aren't they? And then they grow into plants. And now for the ones with that have vines, they have a net. And then they have stakes that hold up the net and then the vines grow up. So this is a squash blossom and a squash bud. We watch over them and weed. That's called a hand grubber. See, it's kind of like a big like rake kind of, isn't it? But it's, it's small, so they can grub up the weeds. Those weeds keep growing, and look, it has a worm in it. Got to watch out for the insects and the weeds. They're watching over their garden until the vegetables are ready to be picked. So there are tomatoes and a green pepper and corn, and then they have a hand basket that they're putting them in as they gather them. Oh, and these vegetables are digging up. So they're digging up the potatoes. This is called a spading fork. So they're digging up the potatoes and, they're, and the carrots 
and then they put them in a bushel basket. So up here they have the potatoes and the carrots. Then they carry their vegetables home. So there's a cabbage and the onions, and they put them in a bucket or a pail. And once they get them home, they wash them up really well. And then they cut them up and put them in a pot of water. So here there's big here is their big soup pot. And there's a soup ladle. There's the knife they cut them with. So they cut the broccoli and the green beans and the peppers. They didn't cut the peas, they just throw those in. And they cut the potato, the zucchini squash, the onion, and the corn. They cut the corn off the cob. They cut up the carrots and the cabbage. Oh, and there's a tomato. What else? No, I think I missed. Oh, yep, there's a bell pepper. Miss Kay's missing some of them, are not I? Lots of vegetables. Yum, yum. And cook them into vegetable soup. There they all go into the pot. And that white shows the steam coming up as the vegetables are cooking. And oh, look, they have a big soup bowl and a soup spoon. At last, it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. And we can grow it again next year. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's book. It, it was very interesting, wasn't it? When it starts out saying, Dad says we're going to grow vegetable soup, those kids are probably on. You grow soup? <laughs> it's kind of fun, isn't it? Very interesting and very uh, informative, don't you think? Well, I hope you enjoyed toddler time this week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Kristen Davis, and I am so excited to be here talking to you. I am a speech-language pathologist, and I work at the Speech and Language Clinic at Baylor University. I'm happy to be collaborating with the library to bring you some helpful tips on building your child's language. By helping to build your child's language, you're also helping them establish that foundation that they need for when they are ready to read. Our next tip is about predicting in stories. This can be done while you are asking your child questions about the book. As you and your child read a book, ask them what they think will happen next. This encourages children to have an active role and develops their critical thinking skills. This strategy only works with new books that they haven't read yet. Ask them to look at pictures about things that may happen or look for clues. I like to tell my kiddos that they are being reading detectives. As always, our goal is for participation, not perfection. We want them to have fun with the book. Some good books to practice this with are The Midden and If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. I hope you found this tip helpful and I'll see you soon.